Let's find the mass of one atom of hydrogen, that's H. And we're going to find the mass of an average hydrogen atom. So really, all we need to do is take the molar mass. In this case, it's the atomic mass because it's just an atom here. And we divide that by Avogadro's number. And since we're using the average atomic mass, that gives us the mass of one atom of hydrogen, the average hydrogen atom. So let's give it a try, see how it works. You can think of this average atomic mass here as having the units of grams per mole. So we could say we have 1.01 .01 grams in one mole of hydrogen atoms. We can multiply this by a conversion factor because we know that one mole of anything is going to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So now when we do the math, we have moles on the bottom and the top, they cancel out and we're given grams. So this is nice because we know we do it correctly. But really, again, all we're doing, we're taking the average atomic mass and dividing by Avogadro's number. So when we work this out, 1.01 .01 divided by Avogadro's number, we get 1.68 times 10 to the negative 24th, the units, they're going to be grams. If you wanted to know the mass of one atom of hydrogen in kilograms, you would divide this number by 1,000. That would give you 1.68 times 10 to the negative 27. Finally, there are really three main isotopes of hydrogen. So if you were given, say, deuterium, that's H2, isotope of hydrogen, H2, mass number of 2. If you wanted to know the mass of one atom of deuterium, what you would do is instead of the average, you'd put the mass number here for deuterium in and then divide by Avogadro's number. And that gives you the mass of one atom of the deuterium isotope. You could do the same for tritium, where you'd have a mass number of three. This is Dr. V with the mass of one atom of hydrogen, H. Thanks for watching.